Like, yeah, I mean, y- y'all don't know his karate history. Anyone know Austin St. John's belt certification? Any fan <laughs> know Austin St. John's belt certification? When you ask him, you know, what kind of karate does he do, or, you know, or martial arts, he's like, oh, I'm a, you know, you, you, he might say he MMA, he a blender of martial arts. And I wish I could find the video where he said he knew 33 different forms of fighting for the life of me. I can't find it because I never thought when I was doing research that this shit would come back up, but it did. It did. It did. <laughs> McDojo black belt. Oh, you're close. You are close. Um, so, you know, before we get, before we spoil it, right, let's listen to an interview. Let's listen, let's listen to an interview of Austin St. John talking. My father was always studying the martial arts. He was always at the gym. And uh, when I was five, he got me into judo. And that was my first start. And from there, because he was a Marine, and we just, we moved almost every year in different schools, different arts, and I've studied bits and pieces of 12 different- I'm sorry to interrupt, but I do think this is some truth to this. I did have someone look up into his father's military background. I also had someone look up to his DOD contract. Now, I know he says he was over there for four years, but the DOD contract that I saw was only for one. Um, but who cares about that, right? And we just, we moved almost every year in different schools, different arts, and I've studied bits and pieces of 12 different styles. My favorites would have to be, I think, uh, Taekwondo, you know, just because I think it's, it's a beautiful art. I mean, it's not very realistic for the street because, you know, it's a lot of flashy kicks, a lot of useless stuff as far as defense goes. But um, Kenpo is amazing. It's an amazing art. Uh, the hand-eye coordination, it takes the strength, it takes agility. The Kenpo, the Jiu-Jitsu, the Niwaza. You know, most people haven't even heard of Niwaza. Jiu-Jitsu is great for the sense of... <laughs> I know. Now, look, he could be t- he could be saying a lot of stuff. He could be like, no, 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 man, this this is the real deal. He could be like, this is the real deal. Or whatever. He's like, uh, I don't know, ASJ. Arm bars, wrist locks, takedowns, all of that stuff. But it starts, most of it starts up here, and it takes you down. What Niwaza is, is it's basically just a continuation. Niwaza is a combination of Jiu-Jitsu and the art of Taido. Taido is the art of uh, strangulation, you know, choke holds, things along those lines. And Niwaza just combines it. It's on the ground. Did you use all of those uh, in your character as a power ranger? I'd like to think that I've created my own. And, and not necess- <laughs> wait, wait, he created his own martial arts. I mean, this ain't hip hop keto, but hey, we got, we got to let him cook. Let him cook. Necessarily from scratch, but taking a combination of everything that I know and put together what I think is, is best for myself or an arsenal, what I feel is the most well-rounded. <laughs> it helped me to do a lot with my character on, on Power Rangers. Which style did you use the most in your character? Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Taekwondo simply because, you know, it's TV. They want to see, you know, the big jump kicks. They want to see. Wait, was that Austin St. John doing the backflip though? I'm sorry. I, I just want to know. Was it was him or a stuntman? Well-rounded. It helped me to do a lot with my character on, on Power Rangers. Which style did you use the most in your character? Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Taekwondo simply because, you know, it's TV. You really don't see it. I don't know. They want to see, you know, the big jump kicks. They want to see the spins, the twirls, you know, all the flash. The Van Damme things. Yeah, you know, the Van Damme <laughs> stuff, you know. <laughs> Hiya. You know, it's, TV's not very realistic. And even with the Taekwondo, you know, Taekwondo. What's up with the accent? Even with the Taekwondo. <laughs> I'm the accent, yo. You caught it too? See, Radio True, I'm like, yo, what is up with this fake-ass accent? Where, Where is he from with this accent? Even with the Taekwondo. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, is a precision kicking art. I mean, it's precision down to breaking it down into steps. Um, you take that to TV, it doesn't necessarily look good on TV that way. I remember for the longest time I had a hard time adjusting because they said, no, you can't do it that way. <laughs> you like what? Like he, he, you must think he likes some third degree black belt or some, right? He like, oh, he, 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 he trained up. You know, they wanted, instead of seeing the crisp, you know, the snap, they wanted to see the big arcing, right. you know, kicks, you know, the whoosh. I remember for the longest time I had, uh, that drove me up the wall. But, you know, I adjusted and uh, I had a blast with it. I got into the tumbling and I'd mix some tumbling with the martial arts, with, you know, just everything. And, you know, you do 86 to 100 episodes, you start yeah. running out of ideas, so you get creative. My character was supposed to be very, you know, humble, all-American boy. You know, you're supposed to be the, the superhero, the inner strength, the lead. 
the inner strength, the leader, you know. <laughs> leader of the group. And I had to come across in such a manner that I thought would convey self-confidence, but at the same time being humble, which I think is what martial arts is allowed. Okay. We're going to come up to our All right. I went now. See, we're about to transition into it, right? Now, notice he doesn't say anything about his qualifications or anything like that. I had to dig so far you back. Dig, bro. You'd like to dig. I'm talking like the depths of hell. This ain't even something that someone sent me. This is something I found on my own. But shout out to people who be sending me. I'm a, I see the super chat. I'm going to get it right after we learn the certification. So this video right here. Warning. Warning, guy. <laughs> warning. <laughs> warning. Let's see what his certification. You're going to hear it within the first minute. OK, you're going to hear it in the first minute. OK, guys, put your listening ears on. Put them on. I've studied martial arts since I was five years old. By the time I was 18, I'd earned a second degree black belt in Taekwondo, as well as earning two other black belts in the combination of 12 different martial arts I've studied. <laughs> Get your money up, not your oh. money up. Stop the cap. So there, this is the first time you've heard ASJ acknowledge his black belts that he has. So if you listen closely, he possesses three, one in Taekwondo and two out of the 12 different martial arts he studied. I'll run it back for you one more time. And I don't know why no one picked up on this. If JDF was alive, I'd be like, yo, I would have sent this to him. Like, yo, he capping. Here you go, right here. I've studied martial arts since I was five years old. By the time I was 18, I'd earned a second degree black belt in Taekwondo, as well as earning two other black belts in the combination of 12 different martial arts I've studied. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You like, Henry, how long... Does it take to earn a black belt? Well, <laughs> I look it up. I looked it up for you guys. I was like, let me let me look this shit up. Well, how long does it take to get a black belt in Taekwondo? Anywhere from five to twenty five years. So he had to be studying Taekwondo from the age of 13 to 18 to get a black belt in Taekwondo. Right. And you like. Can you imagine how disciplined you would have to be at age 13 to do solely Taekwondo? You like, no way. There it go right here. Uh, this is according to Dragon TKD. Um, how quickly can you get a black belt? Uh, three to five years. So maybe 16. So you, you got some different answers. So from six to, so from 15 to 18 Taekwondo, but he had three. By the age of uh, 18. Uh, what do you guys think about ASJ's martial arts history? Is he is it fact, fiction, fact or cap? Fact or cap? Uh, so what do you guys think about that story? Like, this is another reason where maybe you, you know, you might want to like, yo, you really had three black belts at age 18? Like, the lie started so long ago. <laughs> you like, yo, he been lying. He been lying since lying. You had three black belts at age 18. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> you look, look, that's a question you ask him at cons. Hey, I was on Henry's channel. He played a video of yours where you said you had a black belt in Taekwondo and a black belt in two of the other 12 martial arts you were studying by the age of 18. It, can you can you say yes or no to that? <laughs> can you say yes or no to that? <laughs> all right. Anywho, um, Dust says, I'm sorry. I do not believe Austin fake John. <laughs> Stop the cap. Yeah, hey, look, man, he be capping, man. He can't help it. He can't help it. He can't help it. He can't help it. 